I said, one of you I'm going to nominate. Well, guess what? here from fish chick finds and um i just got cozy in my house here on saturday night and realized oh my i still have not done the five things you don't know about me challenge um that marlene from buffalo check chicks nominated me for so i'm sorry marlene here it is um so real quickly we're going to go through five things you don't know about me. Um, number one, um, five things you might not know about me because some people already know these things. Um, so number one, I grew up in North Adams, Massachusetts. Um, it is in the beautiful Berkshires in Massachusetts. Um, and I absolutely love it there. I love the mountains. I love everything about it. I don't like the weather. I don't necessarily like the opportunities that are there. Um, but the thing that you don't know, because you probably already know that from my other video, um, from the um, For the Love of Vintage um, collaboration, is that um, I, I've also lived in Pittsfield, Massachusetts. I've also lived in Troy, New York, Albany, New York, Washington, D.C., and of course, um, you already know that I live now in Tampa, Florida. So those are all the places that I've lived. Okay, number two. When I grew up, um, I started taking dance lessons at the age of four. Um, I loved to dance. I took dance lessons, you know, three four times a week. Um, then eventually I added in gymnastics on top of it. Um, but I took dance lessons from the age of four up until 17. I did not take them in my senior year in high school. My junior year wasn't the last year that I took dance lessons. I was a student dance teacher for two and a half years. Not long enough, not the three years it took to become an official um, dance teacher. Um, so I was a student instructor. My favorite type of dance is tap and I would absolutely love to get back into it. I love to tap dance. Um, I haven't done it in God, ages, um, but I loved it. I thought it was really fun. Um, it was just different and you got to like, you know, it wasn't all, it wasn't a ballet girl. I took, I took Toe ballet for, I don't know, half an hour? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, probably half a year. Um, I did not like it. I did not like it. My feet are, you know, the size of, uh, I don't know. My, I, I have big, wide, 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 wide feet. And um, they did not fit into those little things. I actually have a physical issue um, with one of my toes as a result of cramming them into those shoes. So I don't know how any of you do it that do it. Um, but you know, anyway, uh, tap. So that was my thing. Tap. Another thing that you don't know about me. Um, I used to be a DJ. Um, when Mr. Fisher and I got married, um, we, we, <laughs> You kind of have to make your own destiny up in um, uh, Massachusetts. Uh, there, there are not a lot of employers, and um, a lot of people own their own businesses. And um, Mr. Fisher was already a musician, and I really liked music, so we decided that we would buy a DJ business. So we bought a DJ business, and um, Tim did a lot of the um, weddings and um, events and stuff like that. And we bought a second system, and I actually DJ'd um, in the bar where um, that my father owned. Eventually, I owned it, but um, I DJ'd in the bar that my father owned. Um, so yeah, that was fun. Wiki wiki. No, it wasn't. It wasn't um, vinyl. Um, I wish it was, but it wasn't. I had the little, you know, CD thing with the mixer and all that. So uh, yay, you know, go Colleen. Woo woo. <laughs> 
Um, okay, let's see. What else? What else do you... That was two. That was three. That was three things. Okay. Um, was that three things? Okay, maybe that was three. Yeah, I think that was three. Okay, so, Bob, I just let you out. I, I just let him out, so I don't know what his problem is. So he's going to have to be a big boy and pull his big boy pants up and realize that he's not going to go out every time he cries. Um, another thing that you don't know about me. Um, I was married to Mr. Fisher twice. Yeah. Um, we were already engaged planning our wedding when we decided to elope. So um, we eloped, we went up to Saratoga Springs, New York, and uh, we were going to get married there by the judge. And he said, oh, it's Sunday afternoon. Let's, you want to go over to Saratoga Inn? They have a lovely brunch. Uh, I can marry you out in the courtyard. Negative. So we went over to Saratoga Inn in Saratoga Springs, New York, and we got married in the courtyard in front of a bunch of of strangers <laughs> um, and um, the band was Reggie's Red Hot Feet Warmers so if you've ever been up to like Saratoga the famous like Saratoga where um, where the racetrack is there um, they have this band there that plays every summer Reggie's Red Hot Feet Warmers and they played It Had To Be You so uh, yeah we got we eloped and got married in front of a bunch of strangers <laughs> So, yes, I've been married to Mr. Fisher twice because we eloped, and then we had the more formal wedding six months later. Now, the thing you might not know is that um, Mr. Fisher and I were married only eight months after we met. Eight months? Yeah, let's see. Let me count it. Okay, nine months. We're, we're married nine months after we met. That was really fast. And we've been together for 27 years this year. 27? Yeah, 27 years this year we've been together. Um, let's see, the last thing you don't know about me. Okay, I used to be a mail carrier. Um, I... Yeah, I used to drive my own personal vehicle. I was a rural carrier. I was one of those fancy city carriers that like has the nice uniform and drives in the mail truck. I like drove my own vehicle. I sat on the right-hand side of the vehicle, and I reached my leg over and drove my car like this to throw mail in people's boxes. And no, it is not as easy as it sounds at all. It is a very tough physical job and I absolutely loved doing it. I loved it. However, I started that job really later in life and there was no way I was going to be able to um, retire doing something that is that physically demanding and taxing on your body. Um, for anybody out there who thinks that, you know, Mail carriers just drive around tossing mail in a box. That is so far from the truth. Um, yeah, it's it's a very, very, very physical job. It takes a toll on your body. Um, and um, next time you see your mail carrier, I would urge you strongly to let them know how much they're appreciated. Because um, they only ever hear when they do something wrong. <laughs> Um, so yes, I used to be a letter, ca letter carrier and, um, I loved it and I guess that's kind of why I pack my items so well. Not that I see boxes get thrown around or anything like that. It's just that, um, I see how they used to come into the post office. It's like, my goodness gracious, like what happened to this before it got to me? So um, I do um, spend a little bit of extra time making sure my items are packed carefully um, so that if you order something from me, it will arrive safely. Um, so that's it for my five things you don't uh, know, don't know about me or now you know. I don't know. So thank you, Marlene, so much. I really appreciate you. It's Marlene and Kathy from Buff Buffalo Check Chicks. Um, so check them out. I'll put their link down below. And I am nominating three people. And who am I nominating? 
I will tell you, I did my last, my first, not my last, maybe my last, I don't know, um, my first live sale last week. Um, it was an experience. I only had a, a little bit of time to get ready for it, so it was a little daunting. Um, it, it threw me off a little bit, so I think maybe it, it would be a little bit better if I had a little bit more time to plan for it. But um, I was telling them that I was nominated, the people that, uh, I was telling um, Tammy from um, Vintage Uprising Texas that um, I was nominated and I was like okay and I'm gonna nominate one of you because I was on her channel um, with Jen Eads and also um, with Nikki from Black Dog Vintage and Antiques so I said one of you I'm gonna nominate well guess what I'm, I'm gonna nominate you all so all three of you Tammy Jen and Nikki, I challenge you uh, to tell everyone five things that we might not know about you. So uh, I look forward to your videos, ladies. All right, um, sorry I'm so casual wearing my, oh yeah, hey, question of the day. Pink Floyd, I'm wearing my Pink Floyd shirt. Uh, name a Pink Floyd song, and I think I already had that question. So uh, name another one. <laughs> <laughs> they got a lot of good ones. Um, so, uh, yeah, should someone my age be wearing a shirt like this? Probably not. Um, does someone my age care that I'm wearing a shirt like this? No. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. And uh, I hope you learned a little bit about me. If you have any questions about anything that I told you, uh, let me know. Uh, I'd love to talk about some of those things. Um, explain a little bit more if you, if you need to know. Um, so thanks again, guys. Um, always appreciate you watching. Uh, and yeah, if you're not already subscribed, please consider doing so. Um, sometimes I'm silly. Sometimes I'm goofy. Sometimes I'm like, you know, I don't know. I'm just having fun and come on and join the Fish Chick fam. All right, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.